Okay, in this question we've got a curve y equals f of x and we're told that it's got a minimum point at negative 3 over 2, 0, so here. We're also told that it's got a maximum point at 3, 6, which is here. And we're also told it crosses the y-axis at 0, 4, which is here. It asks us to sketch each of the following curves, um, so curve transformations, but we must show the coordinates of any turning points and of any points where the graph meets the coordinate axis. So don't forget to show those points in. The drawing it's all very well and good, but you must include those points as well, or you don't lose the mark, or you lose the marks. Okay, so let's try and draw each. I'm always going to start off with the original curve. So there's the original curve here. Now we're asked to draw y equals f of the modulus of x. Okay, now there are two graphs that they get you to draw with modulus, they always get you to draw y equals the modulus of f of x and they get you to draw either y equals f for the modulus of x. So you've just got to learn which is which. Okay, now this one is where uh, this one ends up looking like this type of graph. Okay, it's where the curve is not to go but is not allowed to go uh, negative. The curve is not allowed to go below the x-axis and this type of graph is always a reflection uh, in the uh, y-axis. So whatever you've got up here like this, it ends up getting reflected exactly the same uh, the other side. So you draw it up until x is 0 and then you just reflect what you've drawn. Here, that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw this curve from x is 0 onwards and reflect what we see. Okay, so let's just draw this here. So we started off at 0, 4, it goes up here and it goes down like that. And now all we're going to do is reflect this in the y-axis like that. Okay, and that is your f of modulus x. Let's make sure we uh, label the point. So this is clearly 0, 4. The maximum stays here, it's still 3, 6. But clearly now there's a new maximum over here at negative 3, 6. Okay, and these po there's no minimum, these points are now lost. Okay, so we've done part A. Okay, let's move on to part B. Right, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to do this in two stages. Firstly, I'm going to draw the graph y is equal to f of x add 3. And then I'm going to draw the graph y is equal to f of x add 3 and then add 2. Now, the add 3 in the brackets here, what does that do? Well, it shifts the curve 3 units to the left. So you should know these transmit. That shifts the curve three units to the left like that. So let's sketch that. What's going to move? This point is going to go three units to the left. So negative three over two, take away another three is negative nine over two, zero, like that. Um, this point, where it crosses, is going to be at a different point again. This point here, three, six, is now going to be at zero, six. Okay, now this point is going to be at negative um, 3, 4, but it's not important anymore. It's not across the axis or maximum or minimum, right? So this point is going to come down like this. It's going to go up here to its maximum and it's going to continue like that. Now, what does the plus 2 do in the second stage? What does the add to here? It shifts everything up by 2 units. So it shifts everything up by 2 units. So let's draw this out here. So this minimum here is now going to be at negative 9 over 2, 2. This maximum here is going to be at 0, 8. And it's going to come down like this, up there to the maximum, and go off like that. Okay, so as long as you've labelled those points, even if it if the graph doesn't look like, uh, if, it's, if, it, if it's the right shape but it doesn't quite look as high enough, or whatever, as long as you've labelled the points, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, lastly, part C. So what we're asked to draw here, that's part C, we're asked to draw y is equal to um, half f of negative x. So let's firstly just draw a half f of x, and then afterwards we'll draw the half f of negative x. We'll do that part of it as well. Okay, firstly, what does the half do? Well, the half squashes everything.
okay? By a factor of half, pushes everything down in the y direction by a half, okay? So let's uh, draw out what this will look like. I actually might draw it underneath, it might be easier. So it only affects things in the y direction. Now, this here is going to stay negative 3 over 2, a half, a 0 even, because 0 times the, the half doesn't change. This point here, however, is now going to be 0, 2, and this point here is going to be 3, 3. Okay, so you're ending up having something looking like that, squashed uh, by a half in the y direction. Now, what does the uh, negative half do? Well, f of a negative a half, all it is, is it's a reflection in the y-axis. It's a reflection in the y-axis. So we're going to have this like this. Should actually draw it in the middle. So this thing over here is going to just be coming out like this, this way. And this here is going to be coming down like that there. So this point here is not going to be negative 3 over 2, 0. It's going to be 3 over 2, 0. This point here is going to actually stay the same, so it's going to be 0, 2. And this point here is not going to be 3, 3. It's going to be negative 3, 3. And there we have y is equal to a half f of negative x.